What is 913 and this is CT Style. Now, has anybody ever unfriended you on social media and suddenly disappeared from your life without any explanation? Well, you're probably thinking of a person or two. It's called ghosting and it happens more than you actually realize. Studies say that 50% of men and women have experienced ghosting at some point in their life on either end of the stick. And here to explain the phenomenon is relationship expert Lisa Lieberman Wang. Lisa is also the author of Fine to Fab. Welcome back here to CT Style, Lisa. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. This is a fun topic because yeah. I think so many people by either ghosted someone or been ghosted been and ghosted. didn't even know that they've done it, right? Yeah. And, and even outside of relationships, I, I'm sure today may, may be the the, uh, the climax of ghosting on social media with everything with the election going on, but let's, let's keep it within the realm of relationships. Why do you think this happens? Why do people just cut bait and escape? Well, one of the biggest things is avoidance. People don't want to feel, deal with confrontation. They don't want to hurt someone's feelings or deal mm -hmm. with difficult conversations. And it's easier just to disappear, like yeah. literally like a ghost. Like S they were there and now they're not. S sweep it under the rug. Yes. Yeah, just forget about it. So, Absolutely. So what are some things that people should be doing? I mean, should they be unghosting somebody? Or well, you know what? It comes to the point that people just don't want to deal with having to tell someone how they feel. And it's easier just to avoid them. Now, this happens in family. It happens with friends. It happens with dating. And today, people People think it's new, but we can go back and research where people said, where did they feel hurt the most in relationships is when people didn't come back and explain why they happened. Mm -hmm. People turn around, they'll be in a relationship with someone they think cares about them, and all of a sudden they disappear. Oh, and yeah. like, why? And back then, before the internet and all the technology we had, we didn't know. They had, we had a phone number, and then we couldn't reach them anymore. Today, with technology, people actually start getting angry and frustrated. I mean, after they go through the feelings of, I hope they're okay, what's wrong with them? Then right. maybe like, why didn't they call me? What's wrong? what's wrong with me mm -hmm. and if someone has se a low self-esteem they start thinking it's all about them when it's really the other person who ghosted them it's that they actually took the coward's way out instead of having a conversation saying this isn't working for me or mm -hmm. I'm not interested in having a relationship with you anymore they just turn around and disappear right. and unfortunately the 50% is there it was a study done by L.com but here's the interesting part millenniums over 80% of the people have been ghosted or ghosted or ghosting people wow. and it's become so normal for them that they desensitize themselves from it. High number right there. Absolutely. Uh, so, so make sure you guys grab the book, uh, Find to Fab, more interesting tidbits just like this. Uh, hopefully you're not ghosting your husband who's over here taking fine photos of you right here, right? No ghosting in this relationship. All right, and ho hopefully somebody who doesn't ghost us here in studio. Miss Teresa, I, I know you got some tasty food over there. And no ghosting, right? You're right. Uh, you'll recognize.